Hello, it's Mike here with All Bright Pressure Washing and more. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we share videos of our work and provide how-to tips on pressure washing, drainage solutions, and much more. Today I am tackling a common issue. A low-lying area of a parking lot filled with water and a catch basin not working, filled with dirt and leaves. First, let's talk about why maintaining these catch basins is so important. Catch basins, also known as storm drains or curb inlets, are designed to manage surface water runoff and prevent flooding in low-lying areas. They are an essential part of urban infrastructure, collecting rainwater and directing it to the underground drainage system. Neglected catch basins can lead to standing water, which becomes a breeding ground for mosquitoes and other pests, and can also cause damage to the surrounding pavement and structures over time. To clear it, I need to drain the water out first, so I can clean out the basin and clear the pipe so water drains out. For that, I'll be using a sludge sucker. This tool acts like a vacuum and in my opinion it is a must-have for any pressure washing or drainage cleaning company. It's easy to use, efficient, and hooks right up to your pressure washer with a quarter inch quick connect. The sludge sucker can handle a variety of debris, making it perfect for clearing out murky water mixed with dirt and leaves. Once the water is drained enough, I'll remove the grate and suck out the remaining water along with some dirt. Most of the time a grate will be held in place with screws, so having a screwdriver handy is always a good idea. If the screws are rusted or stuck, applying a bit of penetrating oil can make the job easier. After removing the grate, I can access the basin more easily. Next step, put on a pair of gloves, grab a bucket, and clean out the rest by hand. This part can be a bit messy, but it's essential for ensuring the basin is completely clear. In a catch basin, other drains can flow into it, but there has to be an outlet side. In this case, it's clear which direction the water is flowing, and there's only one pipe. Before I move on to the jetter hose, let me share a few more insights. Regular maintenance of these basins is important to avoid blockages and ensure good water flow, especially during heavy rains. It's also worth noting that regular inspections can help identify potential problems early, saving time and money on more extensive repairs later. Next, I'll be using a jetter hose attached to our pressure washer, along with a ball valve to control turning it on and off. The jetter hose is specially designed for this kind of task, with a flexible yet durable construction that allows it to navigate bends and curves within the pipe. I managed to get the jetter hose about 50 feet in before it stopped. After a couple of minutes of jetting, I noticed water coming from the ground beneath the mulch near where the end of the pipe should be. This is a good sign as it indicates water is finding its way out. However, it will need to be dug up to find the end of the pipe. For now, the drain is temporarily working again. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Your support helps us create more content and share our expertise with you.